What's up guys and welcome back to this week's review for Star Wars The Bad Batch. So in the continuing weekly recap of progressive episodes that currently don't seem to be doing much, we have the group returning from a mission that they feel hasn't or was worse than Sid let on but they also admittedly accept that she's held back information before. Um, when they return, they find out that a cl that Sid's um, bar has been taken over by a guy who is trying to join the Pike Syndicate. So this episode is uh, heavy on that guy getting the spy stolen from him and getting Sid's club back and then turning into um, saving the spy so they can save their skin. So overall, it was a pretty straightforward episode. You know, we know at this point that the Bad Batch is going to survive, so um, it feels like this episode was another one of those starter episodes that they're setting up to lead into, or potentially lead into maybe the rise of the Bounty Hunters, or maybe the next season of The Mandalorian, or The Book of Boba Fett, where we get more backstory on the criminal underworld, the Bounty Hunters, the various sin crime syndicates and families and all that in the Star Wars universe between, or I guess after um, Return of the Jedi and the downfall of the Empire, but uh, more during the time of the Empire itself. So um, we get, we're get it's, it just seems like we're getting some of that lead into that backstory as far as um, how the criminal or cartels rose up, how the huts continued to prosper. Uh, why Vader um, wanted to use bounty hunters by the time of the Empire Strikes Back. So overall a pretty light episode. Uh, we do, as I mentioned earlier, we have a little bit more as far as uh, that the spice is part of the episode. So we do get learned that the Pikes um, do deal in the smuggling of spice. So maybe we'll get more into that backstory. Maybe the uh, Bad Batch will go into... Um, the minds of the spice minds of Kessel, like we did in Solo. Um, it may not be something that's um, uh, like not like a duplicate story. So maybe they're going, they go in to steal more spice, or because of their actions, the Empire decides to take over the um, spice minds of Kessel. So um, potentially um, the minds were not or operating as a private business, but the Empire came in to take it over something along those lines so that would be an intriguing story in my opinion so that's really all there is to say for this particular episode um it feels a little bit less focused than the past few episodes just because um at least the past few episodes dealt some um, directly with the empire or the escape of the bad batch or the various other stories that were happening as far as the rise of the empire and the bad batch dealing with um, various elements tr of the transition from the Republic to the Empire. So we'll see how it goes or if this is just a, one of those one-offs that leads into something bigger or if they have another story arc where this leads into maybe um, get getting the eye of some other criminal element or the Empire learning again that where the group or the Bad Batch is and um, trying to um, get um, um, t uh, take them back into captivity or kill them or something along those lines. So that's all I really have for this particular review. There's not really much to spoil of note or anything intriguing there. I mean potentially intriguing is the whole thing with the Spice and the Pike Syndicate and how they're prospering or how they got the Spice, where it came from and all of that. But it requires more information as far as how this episode matters in the grand scheme of thing be things between the fall of the Republic and the rise of the Empire. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, Easter eggs I missed, feedback of your own, did you like or dislike this episode, then you can uh, comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. Um, and of course, if you want ad-free episodes, um, early access to bonus content, um, and upcoming content, or sorry, early access to upcoming content, as well as some bonus content, then you can find um, me on Patreon at patreon.com slash patelin01. 
But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.